Right, EMS Gaming Crew. Uh, this is game two between username um, and wait for it. I've got this and cheeky mo. Cheeky mo is one game up. Uh, no one knows how. Um, but uh, anyway, that's how it's panned out and is opening with a worker. Very, very successful opening so far. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, uh, username is uh, gonna build hopefully a supply, yes, better, better. Um, a supply depot at the top of the ramp in a useful location. Uh, so, um, yeah, yeah. That wasn't a Zergling rush, cheeky mo. In a, in a Zergling rush, the links turn up like a two and a half minutes and win. Not like I'm still building links at six and a half minutes in the hope of grinding my opponent down. Uh, anyway, uh, the location of this is not as good. No, not as good. Uh, this wanted to be here so that the racks would, again, that, that isn't a complete wall. It's not gonna be a complete wall. Um, look, look at how big the gap is. It isn't a wall. Um, so I fear we could see a repeat of um, a similar sort of travesty where, where this disastrous Zerg opening build uh, manages to crank out a win against all odds. Um, so who knows? Uh, again, it's the gas, but not mine in it. Um, again, it's uh, gas pool before hatchery. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing, this build has nothing to recommend it really. Uh, so uh, hopefully username can, uh, okay, that is not a complete wall. Uh, Lings, if they come up here, will end up in this funny little gap. And I, I, that's fine because as long as you've got Marines behind the wall, uh, they can do the shooting. Uh, the problem you've got is that this outer uh, supply depot actually um, it isn't really doing. Uh, let's put that. Down. That's not a problem, is it? It's not a problem. It's just not doing anything. Uh, and if the links come up, you can't repair it, so you could lose it. But even if you did, uh, you'd still have a complete wall. So it's it's fine. It's fine. I'm trying to. Oh my word! Why is this hatchery here? You know, it's not just me, is it? Look, look at the location of this hatch. There's no way that's in the middle. But it's just, well, I'll tell you now, it isn't. Look at it, it's lopsided, it's wonky. That's a wonky hatch. Um, so I don't like a wonky hatch, nobody does. Um, here are some lings and there are more lings in production. Speed only now starting up. So we're not gonna see fast lings for a long time. Um, there's no units here for using them so he could Definitely, well, there's this one Marine, but that isn't gonna uh, survive against these six links. So, you know, the, the links could definitely be doing some work here. Uh, and like, if you've delayed your hatchery, you've delayed your economy to get a pool and gas up early, to then not do anything with the links is, all, what you've effectively done is pointed a shotgun at your own left foot and shot it clean off. So for the rest of the game, you're gonna be hobbling about playing catch up. Uh, the redeeming feature is the Terran hasn't expanded, so you're not actually as behind as you should be. Uh, but look, these two barracks, um, Tech Lab as well, you know, we could see a couple of Marauders, Marauders with Concussive Shell can be effective against Lings um, because the Concussive Shell will slow them down. But, uh, you know, a large number of Lings building up here. Uh, what I'd love to see from username at present is a factory, and more importantly than that, I'd love to see a command center. You know, one of the nice things about being Terran is you can build the CC here. Um, you don't have to build it in, 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 uh, on location. So, you know, if you're worried about a bunch of Lings coming in and attacking the worker building it, or indeed the command center itself, you can build it on the high ground and then fly it down once you're ready. So. As we'll see, these links are gonna come up, but there's enough Marines um, sort of protected behind these depots that you know the links are gonna take heavy losses before they can possibly burst through. This Marine isn't bothering to do any shooting. We could do with a repair on these depots, uh, but you know there's already a lot of links have gone down. Links trying to nibble this Marauder um, are gonna work very slowly indeed. The Marauder's armored, the links don't have upgrades. Um, you need to get a repair on these. Uh, once once Terran buildings are in the red and they're on fire, they will burn down. So if we click on this supply depot, you can see how quickly that health is going down. Uh, you need to get a repair off on that. You need to get a worker there repair. Oh, he loses them both and is now massively supply blocked. So that's a shame. Let's just for a laugh, have a look at the units loss tab. <laughs> 
Um, so, you know, you'd have to say at this point, Cheeky Mo is miles behind because five minutes, no third, no mining at the natural, and this is a Zerg, not even saturated in the men. You know, that is nowhere close to where you want to be. The only way that you would want to tolerate being this far behind is if you've got massive damage done with your lings uh, and the damage done was you killed two supply depots. So, sorry, three, my bad. And, and maybe like two Marines or something, was it? Yeah, two Marines. The Marauder, I don't think even died, did it? You know, I don't know where it went. But I think it actually survived. There he is, look. Hello, Matt. Uh, yeah, so, you know, um, look, there's a single Marine with seven kills. What hero? Um, so the Lings are gonna come in again. This time there isn't a wall uh, and the Marines are a bit spread out. So if this gets in the mineral line, could be unpleasant. Uh, they are stopping to fight these Marines and, and if username was on it, he would start a supply builder, uh, depot building here so that they can't get in. That's not what he's done. So the Lings are in um, and that is not so good. Uh, you know, Lings do well against workers. Uh, but luckily, Cheeky Mo's decided to fight the Marines instead of the workers. And I think there might be just about enough here to maybe not quite kill the, the Lings, but, but reduce it to a number where if you just attack with the workers, just at attack, attack, um, then you could clean this up pretty sharpish. Um, yeah, it's, it's ugly, isn't it? It's ugly. Well, one of the the ugliest thing of all is you know you've just lost all them workers. Not even bothering to build new workers to replace them. Just oh, I'll just I guess I'll just have six workers from now on or whatever. Uh, no, you, you know you don't have to live like that. Uh, Cheeky Mo uh, is presumably aware that other other units do exist for Zerg. You know he's still mining gas with no way to spend it. He's got a lair um, with you know. For what? Because you, you've no uh, upgrades. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not really sure what his game plan is here. More links in production. Uh, still an open wall. I would freaking love to see a widow mine or a siege tank, um, because either one of those just ends this. You know, a widow mine on the ramp and a wall, and the links run up, and the widow mine just obliterates every single one of them. Marines just turned on one of their own there and decided to. Uh, they didn't like that guy. They were like, Steve, we've had enough of you, and they've all just shot him to bits, and he's just a stain on the ground. Ugly. Um, so uh, finally, username's going to move out. He's going to have a look around. He's having a poke. Uh, there is an overlord here that he could just go ahead and shoot if he you know, felt that way inclined. Um, he's going to come down this side of the map. There's 24 lings in production. On the map, there are 18 lings. Uh, now there must be quite a lot, 30 lings on the map. So... Um, where are they, I suppose, is the big question. They're most, well, a lot of them are there, but half, half, um, oh, no, more than half are here. So this little band of Marines, many of whom are damaged, can't fight all these lings, not even close. But this could be the, this could be a golden bit of timing. If these Marines just walk in here and kill it, um, yeah, it's almost like you planned it. It's almost like you planned it, using them. Uh, of course, you didn't. But uh, on the other side of the map, meanwhile, there's a reasonable force here. These marauders are going to stand strong. And luckily, the lings were mostly just running round and round rather than attacking. So that's gone extremely well for username. I dare say that this is not pretty ugly. A uh, 100 workers killed uh, compared to just 33. Of course, of those 33, 13 of them were workers. Uh, and that's bad. How has he lost this base? How is that? What? I mean... What? <laughs> what is going on? Anyway, uh, I feel like username's just going to win because, you know, Chiyimo's got nothing in production. He, again, he's just watching the links. Uh, you can no longer select these via hatchery command, but you can still just grab them and turn them into stuff. If you leave them for too long, they will expire. Once they're not on creep anymore, they'll go and die. Um, maybe I will wait to see that happen. Are you ready? They make, they make quite a pathetic little squeak as they die. They're all like... Oh, they don't, oh, little baby like would be, you know, lings or something like, not even born and just already dead. Uh, anyway, it's over, isn't it? Um, you know, Cheeky Mo has got uh, this train of workers uh, that he's going to try and like be salty with. But, you know, as always, my advice when somebody's being salty like this is spread your army up, um, you know, just 
poke some units about here and there. If he kills this building, it's over. Ah, oh, cheeky mode didn't get the hatchery down in time and uh, usernames killed all of his buildings. So GG levels it up one apiece.